Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating a Clipper application circuit using the KiCad tool. For more such KiCad videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Open the KiCad schematic editor. Double click on the Clipper application schematic file which we had saved. Now let us start working on the design. So click on place symbol and now search for 1N914 diode and place this particular diode in the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. In order to rotate you can use the R button of the keyboard. Now again click on schematic and place the second diode on the schematic window now again click on place symbol and click on the schematic window now from this choose symbol type p spice and select the resistor now in order to rotate the resistor use the r button of the keyboard Next, we have to place a voltage source in this particular circuit. So click on place symbol and in the choose symbol type P spice and select this particular voltage source. Place this particular voltage source on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. We have to also place the second voltage source. So select this particular voltage source and place it on the schematic window and click escape now we have to define the value for the voltage source so right click on voltage source and click on properties edit properties and define the reference value as v1 Click on value as 0 and click on spice model. Define the pulse value as initial value as 0, pulsed value as 5, delay time as 1 nano, rise time as 1 nano, fall time as 1 nano and pulse width has to be 1 milliseconds and click OK. Similarly, we have to define the voltage source for the second define the reference as v2 define the value as 4.3 volts click on spice model define the dc value as 4.3 volts now we have to define the model for the diode so right click click on property set property define the reference as d1 click on select file and define the models so i'll select this particular bjt model one and i'll define the model as 1n914 and define the alternate sequence as 2 and 1 similarly right click click on properties define the reference as t2 define the value as 1n914 and similarly we have to select the models so select the PJT model 1 and select 1 and 9 1 4 and define the alternate node sequence as 2 and 1. So next we have to define the value of the resistor. So right click, click on property, define the reference as R1, define the value as 100 ohm. So we have defined all the values. Next we have to place a ground connection so click on place a power port and click on ground and place this particular ground on the schematic window now click on wire and connect the wire of the voltage source to the ground as shown in this particular tutorial from the terminal 1 of the voltage source to the resistor R1 and from resistor R1 to the 
diode D1 and from diode D1 to the voltage source and from diode D1 to the second diode and from diode D2 to the ground. Now this particular circuit is complete. Next click on add symbol and we have to select the 1N914 diode and place this particular diode on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Also we have to place the second diode so place this particular diode accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we have to place the voltage source as well as the resistor. So click on resistor and place the resistor R. Next let us place the voltage source. So click on the schematic and place the voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. Now place the third voltage source. So place this particular voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to define the appropriate values. So right click, click on properties, define the reference as B3 and define the value of the voltage source. Uh, select the sinusoidal, define the DC offset as 0 and amplitude as 10 and frequency as 1 kilohertz. Now right click on the resistor, define the reference as R2, define the value of resistor as 1 kilo ohm. Now similarly we have to define the models for the diode as shown in the previous section of this video. So define and select the appropriate model for the diode so that when you perform the simulation you don't get an error message telling that there is no appropriate diode model for this particular simulation. Now right click on the second voltage source, define this reference as V3 and define the value of DC voltage as 1.3 volts and right click on the third volt, fourth voltage source and define the reference as V5, define the value as 0. Now in the DC mention it as 1.3 volt and click OK. Now right click on this define the reference as V4 because we already have an existing voltage source as V3. Now click on place port select the ground and place this particular ground on the voltage source V4. Now click on wire connect the terminal 2 of all the voltage source to the ground connection and the terminal 1 of the voltage source V3 will be connected to R2. So connect the terminal 1 to resistor R2 and from resistor R2 to the diode D3 and from diode D4 to diode D3 and uh, also we have to place the transient analysis that is dot tran 1 milli 6 second and place this on the schematic window. Next click on wire connect the diode D3 to the voltage source and diode D4 to the voltage source V5. Now save this click on inspect click on simulator and run this particular simulation. Now click on probe and place the probe across the input of the first circuit. Now click on probe and place the probe across the diode D1 and D2. Now you can see the 
clipper application for this particular circuit. Now place the probe across the other circuit. Now you can see the sinusoidal wave and place the probe across the diode D3 and D4. You can see the clipper application with respect to the sine wave. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.